motorcycle manufacturers around the world are at a crossroads. It's becoming increasingly clear that fossil-fueled internal combustion engines are nearing the end of their road. Like it or not, growing global pressure is pushing toward a defined end date for their manufacture and sale in road vehicles. But right now, there's no clear replacement technology ready to take the reins. On one hand, we have electric power. It's proven, supported by a rapidly expanding charging network, and capable of staggering acceleration. This works especially well in cars, where the added battery weight is less of a concern. You can throw a few hundred pounds of battery into an SUV and still outperform gas-powered rivals. But for motorcycles, it's a different story. Bikes must be light and compact, and no current battery technology offers the energy density needed to rival the range and practicality of traditional gasoline-powered engines. Then there's hydrogen. It brings some enticing advantages, but also a host of challenges. On the plus side, hydrogen can be easier to transport and store than electricity, and it enables much quicker refueling, similar to filling a gas tank. Like gasoline, hydrogen only makes up half the equation for combustion, with oxygen from the air completing the mix. This applies to both hydrogen fuel cells and hydrogen combustion engines. It's easy to see why some in the automotive world are excited about hydrogen combustion engines. They combine the familiarity of traditional engineering with the fast refueling times that electric vehicles can't match. All this comes with the promise of near zero emissions. So what's the catch? Quite a few things, actually. Hydrogen may be the most abundant element in the universe, but it's difficult to extract, store, and transport. It's also extremely low in density, making it bulky. Add to that the fact that it's colorless, odorless, and highly explosive when mixed with oxygen, and you've got a serious safety challenge on your hands. These issues are laid bare in a new patent from Kawasaki, offering a rare glimpse beneath the surface of the company's hydrogen-powered prototype. This prototype has recently been showcased at events like Suzuka and Le Mans. While the bike's bulky exterior hints at the challenges, the internal structure reveals them in greater detail. Kawasaki's Hydrogen Sport Tourer uses the supercharged 998 cubic centimeter inline four engine from its H2 series, modified with direct injection to add hydrogen after the cylinders fill with air. Performance specs and range haven't been disclosed. It is, after all, just a proof of concept. But thanks to the supercharger, which helps provide the extra air hydrogen needs to burn properly, the engine likely performs similarly to a naturally aspirated gas engine of comparable size. Hydrogen combustion engines are significantly less efficient than fuel cells when it comes to converting energy into motion. While the primary exhaust byproduct is water, there are still nitrogen oxides produced due to the presence of air. Still, hydrogen combustion engines have their perks. They're less sensitive to fuel purity and can be mass-produced using existing engine manufacturing infrastructure. But hydrogen's biggest hurdle remains its low volumetric energy density. By weight, it contains around 120 megajoules per kilogram, nearly triple gasoline's 46.7 megajoules per kilogram. However, by volume, even at 700 bar compression, it holds only 5.6 megajoules per liter, compared to gasoline's 32 megajoules per liter. Kawasaki originally envisioned using five pre-filled swappable hydrogen canisters per side case. That would have made refueling as easy as swapping tanks. But the real-world prototype features two large fixed hydrogen tanks, each resembling an oversized scuba cylinder mounted on either side. These are filled via a rear-mounted nozzle designed to connect with a high-pressure hose. Even at maximum compression, these tanks need about six times the space of a gasoline tank to deliver equivalent energy. If the two tanks together hold the space of 10 gallons, that's only equal to about 1.7 gallons of gasoline. With fuel economy equivalent to 30 miles per gallon, that gives the bike a rough range of just 50 miles. That's before even considering the added bulk, weight, and the extensive safety measures needed, such as reinforced frames to prevent tank ruptures in a crash. The result is a motorcycle that's big, heavy, short on range, and difficult to refuel. These are essentially the same obstacles that have slowed the adoption of electric motorcycles. Without a major technological breakthrough, 
Kawasaki's hydrogen concept, as fascinating as it is, is unlikely to reach the mainstream anytime soon. Despite all the current limitations, it's clear that the motorcycle industry isn't standing still. Manufacturers, engineers, and innovators are continuing to explore uncharted territory, experimenting with everything from hybrid drivetrains to alternative fuels, aerodynamic enhancements, and even AI-assisted riding systems. While hydrogen technology might not be ready for prime time today, the very fact that Kawasaki and other major players are actively developing prototypes speaks volumes about where things could head in the next decade. Just like early electric motorcycles faced skepticism and technical constraints, hydrogen-powered bikes are going through their own teething phase. It's a process of trial and error, research and refinement. What looks impractical today might form the foundation of tomorrow's revolution. As battery tech evolves, new materials are discovered, and global infrastructure adapts, we might see a future where hydrogen and electric coexist alongside ultra-efficient combustion engines, each serving a unique role. Let's not forget, many of the features we now take for granted in motorcycles were once considered radical. So, while it's easy to focus on the obstacles, there's also plenty of room for optimism. The pursuit of cleaner, smarter, and more sustainable motorcycles is only just beginning, and the road ahead is bound to be exciting, challenging, and full of surprises. What does the future of motorcycles look like to you? Electric? Hydrogen-powered? Or something we haven't even imagined yet? Let us know in the comments below, your thoughts matter, and we can't wait to hear what you think. If this video sparked your curiosity and you're passionate about the world of two wheels, then don't stop here. Hit that like button, share this video with fellow bike lovers, and smash that subscribe button to join the SK community. We're diving deep into the past, present, and future of legendary motorcycles, and you don't want to miss a single ride. Stay safe, keep the throttle twisted, and we'll see you in the next story. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.